Hello guys, how are you guys doing today? Um, hope you guys are doing fine. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to install Data Echo on um on our Win Windows machine using Docker. All right, so what we, what you need to do before you do um the installation is make sure that your Docker the desktop is installed on your computer on your Windows machine. And um, you know, make sure that your Docker is running on your machine. So this is very important because um, when we want to install Docker, it's going to uh, when we want to install, I mean, um, Data Echo. When we want to install this, it's going to make our life very easy. All right. So make sure that Docker is running. And um, for example, if I say Docker images, I'm going to see all the images running. Um, right now so i have a lot of images here already so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to install uh i'm going to pull the data haiku okay um dss image so i already installed this, this so it's going to tell me that um, requirement already exists so i don't have any problem with that okay so um so you can see it's up to date and um very cool. So what I want to what I want you to do is I already opened it now, but uh so one thing you need to do is after you've pulled the the image, you need to um type this command. Okay, so this command is gonna allow you to pull, right? And this command uh okay, so this command will allow you to pull. And this command will allow you to install and run that, right? So, um, so after we've done that, we've already installed this. So, for example, uh, I don't want to run this anymore. Okay, okay, cool. So it's failed because port is already allocated. So as soon as you um, do this, you're going to have access to data echo. So um, so this is the documentation to, okay, so, uh, okay, so this is documentation to install it on your Linux. So you can go through this when, if you have a Linux machine, and this is, this is the documentation to install it uh, as um, using Docker, All right? So, um, yeah, so th this documentation is pretty simple and very straightforward. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. So um, after you do that, just go to your local host, then at port um, 10,000, then load it. Then you're going to have access to your data haiku. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy um, using your data haiku DSS because um, this, is, this is a very powerful tool. It has a lot of connector to different databases and data, um, uh, file systems, you know, um, little lakes and all that. Okay, so I want to uh, I want to I want to believe that this is very helpful. So in the next class, we're going to learn how to import our data, how to create projects, and um, how to start working with our, our data. Okay, so um, that's that's that will be all for today. I want to say thank you.